And we're back with this portion of the Real Estate Radio Hour. If you do have a question pertaining to real estate, 651-989-9226 or send a text at 81807. Chris and Andy, why don't we kind of, for those maybe just joining us, uh, rephrase, that, repose that question. If you yeah, know. well, we thought we'd bring in, uh, we've got Kevin McArdle in studio today, and, and the idea is to help everybody that's out there that's a business owner to have a fantastic next business season and giving you guys some resources and some great ideas, uh, you know, to, to get that edge on your competition, if you will. And Kevin, before the break, we were talking about like I, our industry of handing out the business cards with my high school picture on there as a real estate agent, and you don't look anything like your card anymore. But on the websites now, we have that web presence. And and a lot of us are, you know, trying to show how important we are. And we've all these accolades and, you know, and accomplishments. But the consumer's probably not looking for that, are they? Right, right. And, and uh, here, here's my observation about real estate and about m- the majority of small businesses. If you take a look at their communications, specifically their website, it tends to be all about them, all about their company, all about their capabilities. And usually they have silly things like a picture of their office and their, their workers working in their office and out shaking their hands, a picture of them when they were in high school and they had a mustache. They no longer have a mustache. You better make some changes really quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, you know, and now they're 60 pounds heavy. Year, they don't look anything like that. And my point is, uh, is, is it ask the question, what percentage of the messaging that you're bring, bringing forward is about you, your company, and your capability versus your customer, their situation, and the problem that you solve for me? Yep. And what you'll find is 85, 90% of the realtors out there, 95% of them are communicating all about them and their capabilities. And mm-hmm. the customer is coming there to, to resolve or to solve a problem. They're coming to you to either sell a house, buy a house, help them find some land, uh, find a building or whatever it is. And so we need to shift our messaging away from us, our capabilities, and focus it more on our customers and their current situation. And um, so when, when we when we brought your group together, we talked about this concept of contrast. Build some contrast in your messaging that takes the customer from their current situation to a, to a better future and, and create the contrast between what they're experiencing today. They're frustrated because they can't sell their house. They can't find the house they want. Uh, they, they're they're con- Confused, bring some clarity, and then show them how their world is going to be better with you in it. And so build some contrast in your messaging and ask yourself, what percentage of my communications is about my customer, their needs, their situation versus me, my company, and my solution? And it should be greater percentage on your customer. And so it's easy to say we need to understand our customers. It's more difficult to build messaging around that. And the, the final test that I would give is look at your website and ask the question, how how much of it is you phrasing? And what I mean mm-hmm. is, how many times do you use the word you in your website versus we or I? And uh, that's a true test of whether you've got a customer-centric message that sets you apart and creates value for your prospects and customers. That's great, Kevin. I mean, I, it was invaluable because we it's not just real estate. Obviously, you've worked with some of the biggest companies in the country and came in as a consultant and you give seminars. You actually have workshops that you do with companies. And so if any of us are interested in, you know, possibly having you come in and take a look at our individual business, how do we get a hold of you? Where do we go? Sure. Um, our website is helpingcompaniesgrow.com. So it's plural, helpingcompaniesgrow.com. And there's also a link on the Re- Real Estate Radio Hour uh, uh, website as well. So I, I would welcome that opportunity to talk with them, obviously. And um, we can we can help them build a, a better future and a, and a great 2013. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. You know, I was going to just say to you too, Kevin, was what one of the biggest uh, – I don't know uh, if those are kind of the biggest uh, things that, you know, a business should look at. Is there anything else that, uh, you know, that they should kind of think about? I mean, another, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, well, there, you really have three objectives is um, how, how do we uh, create a customer centric message and conversation with our customers? And secondly, um, how do we show up differently and create a different differentiated buying experience for our customer? And thirdly, and most importantly, how do we demonstrate value? And in today's world, it's about creating and capturing value for your customers. And so you, you need to really focus on three things. How do I become customer centric, more customer centric? How do I demonstrate value in my conversations and my messaging? And how do I show up differently and create mm-hmm. a differentiated buying experience for my customers? And most of the time when we use this word value, it's an overused word. Uh, mm-hmm. But the, the reality in, in most sales transactions, neither the customer or the, the salesperson knows if any value was created, if it was created, how much was, was created or where it was created. Mm-hmm. And so 
talking about and really getting to how do I create value and, more importantly, distinct and unique value for my prospects and customers. Oh, yeah. Well, and how do you know if the value is working? I mean, what is the, I mean, is it the results, the end results? I mean, or is it the, the compliments? You, you, a, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think a lot of customers don't realize why they buy from you. And I think that's, that's the, right. And, then, and mm-hmm. same with the sales guys and gals right. that are out there, they're selling. They really don't know why that customer stays with them. And it's it's having a tangible, as I say, something you can, you know, maybe you send them the report that shows how you guys delivered all your deliveries on time. And even though you're selling paper or widgets, whatever you mm-hmm. want to sell, and you're selling at price, but you also have the value where you're saying, like, what are those extra services? My, my shipments get there a day early. Or am I, you know, those that's are right. the, that's kind of what you're talking about, correct? It, it is. How, how do you help the customer recognize and understand that value? Because most of the time, we, we don't recognize it. And if mm-hmm. we do recognize it, we don't understand it. And right. so there again, um, if you're communicating to them on a regular basis, uh, how many times has this home been shown? How many sh- times has it shown up on websites? How many times has it been clicked through? on a feeding website mm-hmm. and and track and feed that uh, that value back to your prospects and customers That's because awesome. it, it, it's what it what it is the only thing that can distinguish you from your competitors Right. right. And that, that's what I was kind of talking about, too. I don't know if we have to go to a break. Do we, we do. Oh. As a matter of fact. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to do this. It's a quick break. Again, you're always welcome to uh, give us a phone call or, or a text message relating to real estate. 651-989-9226 or 866-989-9226. And uh, the, the text number is 81807. We'll be back after this break with more of the Real Estate Radio Hour here on 830 WCCO.